morning and thank you all uh, for joining us this morning. We certainly appreciate it. Thank you very much. I uh, appreciate all of you all making the time to be here to show our support for Israel and its people in the face of these evil attacks that we have seen over the last few days. Today, in my capacity as acting governor, I've issued a proclamation calling for a day of prayer and declaring North Carolina solidarity with Israel Week throughout the state. We honor and mourn the victims of the terrorist attacks by Hamas and their allies against Israel and her people. These terrorists have launched an unprovoked and unjustified invasion of Israel and have taken hostages and murdered innocent civilians, including American citizens. The terrorists have attacked civilians in their homes with their families and brutally beaten, kidnapped infants, the elderly, and even survivors of the Holocaust. Many of you have already seen the disturbing videos and images of the violence that has occurred. These images show unspeakable brutality. It's truly the face of evil. As a father and a grandfather myself, I can't help uh, but imagine the fear of the families whose loved ones have been killed or reported missing, what they must be facing. We pray that God will comfort them and return those missing safely to their homes. These evil acts are unconscionable, but sadly, they're only the latest in a long line of terrorist attacks by groups like Hamas and their allies. As a solemn commemoration of the lives that have been lost and the fight against evil yet to come, as acting governor, I have declared Thursday, October 12th through Thursday, October 19th as North Carolina Solidarity with Israel Week throughout the state. I've also proclaimed a day of prayer throughout the state to begin at sunset on Friday, October 13th through sunset on Saturday, October 14th. We invite all North Carolinians to join us in this solemn com commemoration. I'd also like to applaud the lawmakers under the leadership of North Carolina State uh, President uh, Pro Tem Phil Berger and House Speaker uh, Tim Moore for passing a resolution this week expressing support for our ally Israel and calling on the support of Congress and the White House as well. I also appreciate Speaker Moore ordering flags at half staff at the legislative building and the governor for calling flags to, hot flat, to fly at half staff at state facilities. These many voices show the strength and unity of our resolve for our friend and ally Israel and drown out a radical feud that would, side, that would side with extremists who seek nothing less than wiping out the Jewish people and the state of Israel from the map. These radicals do not reflect the people of North Carolina. They are setting a poor example for our society in general. We are here today to condemn these extremist voices and actions in the strongest way possible. The people of North Carolina offer our hearts and prayers to the people of the nation of Israel and to our own countrymen and women whose loved ones were killed, wounded, or kidnapped, or who may soon face danger in the combat operations sure to come. The United States must stand shoulder to shoulder with Israel and its people in the face of this unprovoked and unjustified terrorist invasion. I ask all of you here today and the people of our great state to join us in this solemn commemoration and to continue to offer prayers and our support for Israel, its people, and its military as they face down evil. God bless the people of Israel. God bless the people of North Carolina. And God bless the, great, and God bless the United States of America. I'm happy to take a few questions. Yes, sir, Mr. Anderson. Sure. I 
I would certainly be willing to answer that question at another time, but I really would love to keep all the questions here today about the people of Israel and about the issue that we're speaking on here particularly. But I certainly would love to answer that at another time. But we want to keep these uh, comments right now focused on Israel. Yes. Yes. Sure. Uh, there have been some Facebook posts that were poorly worded on my part that did not convey my real sentiments, uh, and I have addressed those issues and moved on from those issues. Uh, but I think what we're seeing here now is that the state of North Carolina, including me as one of its top leaders, we are dedicated to, to stamping out anti-Semitism anti wherever we find it, uh, and we are definitely dedicated to standing with the nation of Israel as they deal with real anti-Semitism that has turned into murderous violence. And so uh, our position is clear on that. Uh, there is no anti-Semitism standing here in front of you, and I can definitely say in the state of North Carolina, the majority of North, Carolinas, North Carolinians feel the same. Yes? Mr. Robinson, you said that you had poor wording in yes. the past about anti-Semitism. Yes. And I'm wondering what led to those poor words. Have you had a change of heart? Oh, no, and that's exactly what I'm telling you. There was never any anti-Semitism uh, intended from those words, uh, and uh, there's never been any anti-Semitism uh, within me. I've never been anti-Semitic. I've never had anything against the Jewish people. In fact, from a very early age, I've learned about the struggles uh, that anti-Semitism has caused around the globe. And uh, that's what causes me to stand firmly against it. And again, those Facebook posts that you were referring to that happened a, a number of years ago, uh, we've already dealt with those things, moved past them, and uh, we're ready to move on to, uh, to the new topics that are here today. Yes, yes sir. Uh, when you say you've dealt with them, to be clear, do you apologize for writing what you wrote? I apologize for the wording, not necessarily for the content, but we apologize for the wording and we have spoken to several Jewish groups who completely understand uh, what our sentiments were, and uh, we have full confidence that the people of North Carolina understand that Mark Robinson is definitely not anti-Semitic. Yes. This is not about upstaging the governor. This is, again, about the, the state of North Carolina coming together, the Speaker of the House, President Pro Tem, the governor himself, coming together to show our support for our strongest ally, Israel, and making sure that the world knows that North Carolina is standing with her in this time of need. Yes, sir, Mr. Anderson. Yes. Uh, I, 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 I don't think so, uh, unless uh, my duty calls for me to do that, and I felt in this case my duty called for me to do this. It had not been done yet, and so we certainly wanted to make sure that the people of Israel know that the people of North Carolina stand fully with them. That means the governor, the lieutenant governor, and the uh, legislature as well. Yes, sir. Absolutely not. We've already done that. We've dealt with that. This is an opportunity to make sure that the people of the world, the people of Israel, know that North Carolina stands with her in this time of need. That's what this is all about. All right, th folks, thank you all again for coming. We appreciate you all so much. God bless you. We'll see you.